accept. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and change my camera so it's pointing down. Give me one sec. Uh-oh, looks like we're lost. we lost a couple people. Make sure you guys hit accept when it starts to record. All right, here we go. All right, make sure you guys have your workbook just like this, okay? And next up, we're gonna be opening to the page that we're gonna start with today. And it should say the word pattern. I know, I see her. Uh, it's just that we're trying to teach art right now. Okay, so this page is called Pattern. Okay, and make sure you have something to write with. And we'll get started right away. I did the first one already, but don't worry about that because um, I did have another class to teach. I'll cover that up just in case you saw it already. All right. Are right, you guys ready? Here I go. All right, it says, Pattern, I can learn pattern. Practice completing the pattern. Trace the shapes and look at each pattern and draw the shape that comes last. Pretty simple, right? So we're gonna do this together. We're gonna bring out your writing utensil or anything that you have laying around. So I have a marker laying around here. And it says on the first line, it says triangle, square, triangle, square. And I put some happy faces on it because I wanted to. Who could tell me what comes next by raising their hand? Anyone want to tell me by raising their hand what comes next after this square? I'm going to pick Kaylee. Uh, triangle. Yeah, she's right. I want you guys to do your best and draw a triangle right at the end. And if you haven't done so, you can trace the other shapes because there were dotted lines. I think you guys can trace dotted lines, right? That's pretty easy. And then in that blank spot on the very far end, we draw a triangle, just like how I did. All right. I happen to have another color, which is great. I'll give you guys a little more time, just in case you guys haven't finished yet. And then now we're going to do the next one. All right, here we go. The next one says rectangle, circle, triangle rectangle wow this is a hard one because there's three new shapes and there's two of the same one i see a rectangle here i see a rectangle here then i only see one circle and i only see one triangle what can come next i'll say it one more time rectangle circle triangle rectangle what can come next anyone know anyone want to raise their hand and tell me what comes next liam what comes next after that? Uh, I can't hear you. Oh, good job. You're too smart for me. I'm going to trace a circle right there. Perfect. All right. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and trace my other shapes. So maybe this will be like this. I have a couple markers out, so I'm going to trace it with different colors, but you don't have to. You can trace them all with the same color if you'd like. I'm just doing different colors because I have them in front of me. And if you want to make them look kind of different, you can. I'm going to maybe add stripes in this one. I don't know. Maybe polka dots in this one. All right, all right, enough goofing off there. All right, this next pattern, it's a tough one too. Let's try to figure it out together. It says circle, hexagon, hexagon. Circle, and then there's a blank. Hmm, maybe a good tip is try to look what's beside the circle in the beginning, but I don't know. Anyone want to tell me what could be next? Ella? Do you know what's next? Circle, hexagon, hexagon. Circle, blank. X. 
hexagon. Good job. It's a hexagon. So if you don't know how to draw a hexagon, just try your best to try to copy this shape over here. A good idea, if you guys don't know how to draw a hexagon, is since it's over here twice, you can practice right on the dotted line, just like this. And once your hand gets used to it, try it on this side. But uh, see, mine's not perfect. It's OK, though. All right. I think I might make my circle blue. And again, you don't have to do different colors like how I am. I just wanted to. That's all. All right. All right. I see some people still working, so I'll give you guys maybe a couple more seconds. I see Maverick working hard. I see Lige working hard. I see David saying hi, hello. All right, we're gonna get started for the next one. This next one is a little more complicated. And again, if you can't see my screen, feel free to pin me. And that way, it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I can wait. I'm replying to uh, Vaughn. He texted me on the uh, chat. That's fine, I can wait. All right. If at any time this year or some other time, if I'm going too fast or too slow, it's okay. You guys can always go back to it. All right, I am going to have to move on. So if you guys are still working, it's okay. But I'm going to have to move on. So the next one is triangle, triangle, rectangle, triangle. What can come next? Anyone know? Who can tell me? Anyone want to tell me what's next? Jaden, you want to take a guess? Triangle. Good job. This is really smart. So I'm going to do a triangle here. And there, he's correct. The, the way he figured it out is that he saw there was two triangles here next to each other. And since there was another triangle over here, he must have assumed that there was another triangle next to it. And he's right. I'm going to make this rectangle the same color just so I can prove to you guys that it doesn't have to be different colors. So you can go like that. Nice. All right. The last one is another hard one as well. But I will wait and give you guys some time to complete it. So if you're having trouble with this lesson of knowing how to do patterns, it's OK. It's a very hard concept to learn. It's very hard, but hopefully you guys will get it. It takes time to learn how patterns work. All right, this one's a little tricky because there's a lot of shapes going on. Again, if you're falling behind, just pause real quick and you can always go back to it. All right, here we go. This last line, it says circle, triangle, hexagon. Circle, and then blank. Anyone know what this next one could be? Anyone? Narosha, do you want to try to take a guess? A triangle. Yeah, she's right. This next one is a triangle. All right. You guys don't have the, the ability to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little poster right here. If this line kept going, can anyone tell me what this next one would have been if our paper was a little bit bigger? So if it was circle, triangle, hexagon, circle, triangle, what would the next one be? This is a bonus question. Anyone know? Circle, triangle, hexagon. Circle, triangle, blank. Brianna, do you want to tell me what's next? Hexagon. Oh my gosh, you guys are too smart. Correct. The next one would have been hexagon if we had more space. Good job. All right, and with that said, I'm going to continue on my thing. Here we go. There we are. All right, I do have a fun activity to close with this, and I find it really fun. All right, so what I'm gonna do, if you have the packet, you will have a blank page on the opposite side over here. All right. 
So what I did over here with the last class is my made I made my own type of pattern with emojis. Emojis are kind of like you know like smiley faces what people use word texting. So I did smiley face, smiley face, surprise face, smiley face, smiley face. Can anyone tell me what my next face would be? I saw Samir's hand up go first. Samir, what's the next face that would go next? A nothing face. A nothing face. <laughs> A surprise face. <laughs> All right. So a fun activity you guys can do at home is you can kind of make your own patterns, but I wouldn't go as long as I did. I'd probably do maybe something like numbers or letters. If you want to do circles, you can do that too. So maybe I'll do three. Actually, no, I'll do five. I'll do five circles here. And then if you want, you could try to play a game with your family and maybe do emojis as well. Maybe I'll do sad face, smiley face. Scared face, and then I have to make it a pattern somehow. Sad face, smiley face, and then someone would have to guess the last one, maybe. I don't know. I just figured it'd be really cool. Let me try another one. Numbers, two, one, two, and then here's my blank. A, B, C, A, B, blank. So if you want, as a fun game on this blank page, you can kind of make your own patterns and just leave a blank on the very last one, and then have them try to guess what kind of pattern you were trying to create for them. Pretty cool, huh? All right, we do have a little bit of time left. Actually, no, do we have time? No, unfortunately, we don't. All right, so I'm going to stop the recording right now. Give me one sec.